so the point being is that um, one of the people uh, that were here uh, this kid back then I, I was I, my mother would not let me go to this place. She did not want to bring me to this place uh, because of the amount of kids that were going missing. Uh, the point being is that, um, the point being is that uh, the kid, the, uh, the FBI, the CIA, uh, they were um, very much aware of this and that the police weren't doing very much or certain, you know. So um, they stepped in and uh, basically they fucking, they brought the kids there for, now I had only been there one time, 20 minutes, like two weeks prior. If two weeks, I think it was maybe two weeks, maybe a month prior. Uh, my friend, I went with my friend uh, Will and his uh, mom and his sisters and freaking, that was only for like 20, 30 minutes. Like we didn't even get to play really on the, uh, we didn't even get to really play on the uh, anything at that point in time. Uh, the point being is that um, very uh, shortly after we showed up to a birthday party and um, that was a sting and um, they were using all of us as bait and I remember the, when the kid starts telling me the story I'm sitting there and I'm saying, holy shit, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm like, because I was like, I was just right there. I was, I'm, I'm very close to this person's age and I'm sitting there like, holy shit. And this happened when they were a certain age and I was like, holy shit. So... The fucking bottom line is that um, the kid was lucky to be alive. Uh, they had all the roads shut down. Uh, there was there was cops at that point that they could trust, uh, and they they locked the entire fucking area down. Uh, the kid was missing for quite some time, like, you know, enough time, but he just, well, they weren't, there was nowhere to go, they had the entire fucking area so locked down, um, they took me, and, uh, I don't know if they took other people with them, uh, they were trying to see how much of a skill set I had, I don't know, uh, I don't exactly know, like, like, like some of this was real, but some of this wasn't real to me. Um, I didn't, I didn't quite, and not to mention, I was getting, uh, I was getting, I was getting fed a lot of bullshit from people that were aware of the situation. That in my head, I thought, well since these people know about things like these people it, it's like people were playing not so much fair is what i should say like there was people playing uh side string shit uh against a little kid that was trying to understand what this side was saying and this side even though they kind of got along but they didn't get along so they kept secrets from each other it's like this is what i'm saying and then it's like the side bullshit comes along and it's like uh, how should i explain this it's like certain people were allowed and to like give information um or to talk to me about certain things because they would talk to me the right way 
uh, whether it was one side or the other, uh, because it's not, it wasn't so much like the one side from the other side were completely wrong. Uh, they had different ways of doing things, this, that, blah, blah, blah. It's, and I'm not going to say all of this while I'm fucking running out of breath and <sighs> to tell you the truth. <laughs> So the point being is that that person, because I mean, that's just a random thing. You know what I'm saying? That person, somebody has their hands obviously on very, very, because there's no stories. There is no stories about any of those kids that went missing. None. My friend looked the story that popped up I don't even think articles of there was there was barely any articles about this place opening and closing uh, from what so far she's told me and from what I have uh, I'm pretty sure I looked, but if I didn't look, it's like I believe it. It's like there's no fucking articles. Um, I did look. I don't think I found anything about when this place opened. Uh, the there's there's miss articles. There's this. There's that. It's like it's like that is not that is not how the fuck. So that's that. So it's definitely making me think that I'm still being tested why I'm in the most insane situation on fucking, so I don't know anymore what the fuck is real and what's not. I, I mean, I do know what the fuck is real, but this is bullshit and I'm sick of this shit and fucking just leave me the fuck alone. I want my money and I want to be left alone, which brings me to that too. Am I leaving out anything at this point? Um, I just, I, I, I saw the kid, and then just, oh, and then there was that guy, it was just, it was just not fucking, and then there was this whole situation, and up the room, and then there was, you know, then there was the other friend, and the freaking this, and that, and there was that, and there was that, and then there was the other thing, and that fucking, and then, uh, should I even go into that shit, no, let's see, what else, uh, t -t 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 So I get some answers uh, to some questions, possibilities of some questions in my head and uh, from from months ago. And um, at the same time, I'm saying, what the fuck, man? Because this whole fucking thing is, it's just like, wow. It's just like, wow. You know, I don't know what else to say. Um, Which leads me to saying that now I'm in an area where one of the last times I seen that cop son was out in this area. And uh, this is one of the places that they said they were going to kill me. So it's really interesting with all the bodies and all the places that I shut down with the bodies or helped shut down with the bodies because I wasn't obviously the one that shut down, but in the, in kind of a sense I was uh, you know people used me as a kid uh, for what they used me for which you know I seen as good reasons uh, but I also seen good in the bad side of things um, to some degree um, and that's that's what I'm saying it's like it's like people that try to imitate people like me and uh, they want to do it their way. They, In other words, they want to take my words and then they want to try to fucking twist it to their own philosophy. And that's where it's like, you can be a different person, but 
you know what? Whatever, man. I, I'm not even going to get all philosophical on this. I said people that would understand where I was going more so with that, let them understand. The people that don't, I don't care. Uh, watch it again. And uh, maybe I didn't say it right. So maybe you'll have to turn on your own brain and understand that uh, just like the yin and the yang and all that other shit. And uh, it's, you know, and one day the world will eat you. And because uh, you live on a fucking living planet and things that are alive eat things. And uh, that's how it goes. So. What do you choose to eat? You know what I'm saying? Um, where, where was I with this all? Um, oh, you know, the thing is, I left out, I left out that one important thing. Uh, yeah, was there anything I left out as I was going over this? And I'm pretty sure I left this out, is that uh, although he knew that my father was Secret Service, you know, see, that's the whole point. It's like my father had certain tattoos and I seen those tattoos of a man who was dead uh, on the news. Uh, and I know that a couple of my father's lookalikes had those same tattoos. Um, the thing is, is that uh, when those tattoos showed up on the news, um, I immediately recognized um, that there is a chance that that could have been my father. And I find it interesting that right after uh, my father supposedly dies, uh, that all of a sudden the sheriff is at the house giving me an eviction notice um, to evict me from a house that I was kidnapped and almost killed at, and, you know, and then I end up here in a fucking area where I'm like, wow, guess what? I was almost killed and I was almost kidnapped and, you know, then I was almost kidnapped again, and, you know, this person and that, and I was, you know, everybody wants me to suck their dick and I'm just like, I'm not gay, bro. It's like, you know what I mean? Sorry. <laughs> you know, I like titties and stuff, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, so whatever and uh, I don't know what else to say what's this oh. alright and uh, you know so that was that happened right before I got that eviction notice uh, so the man who knew that my father was secret service is the man that gave me the eviction papers from the house that I turned around and said, this is the house that I was kidnapped. And this is also the house that I was almost killed. And a squirrel just brought me a fucking human foot bone from the attic only about eight months prior. And uh, yet yeah, fucking, you know, and I'm just like, wow. And I'm just like fucking... So that's all that, and uh, I would like to say one thing. Uh, you know, each time I've tried to get this fucking movie, it's pissing me off that it's not on YouTube. Uh, Blood, The Last Vampire. The movie, not the cartoon version. The movie version. That's fucking, because that was fucking good. And I own that movie like two times, and I'm like, motherfucker, it's like not there. You know what I'm saying? You can't actually see the only <laughs> never mind. But uh yeah, so that's that's that. So just wanna throw a shout out to that movie that's old from like two thousand nine, two thousand seven. I, I don't even know. The point being is that um yeah, I wanna throw that out there and freaking wicked movie. Absolutely wicked. Uh, yeah, there's a couple movies that I'm just... And, and then there's other movies I don't even know. Freaking, the, the point being is that this video... This video is done. 
no, oh no, 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 this video is not done. Hold on, oh, hold on. <clears throat> this video is not done. Because then, So, I almost forgot. So then there's this. Now, then there's this. So, the point of that is the fact that that is a setup too. And uh, with all the things that I've already said, uh, that's uh, becoming a very interesting storyline in itself. This is pretty much why I think I'm going to die soon. I will do my best not to die, but uh, the point is, is that I definitely think I'll be dead soon. That is uh, anywhere between a two and $15 million uh, diamond. Uh, right there uh, depending on the scale <laughs> it basically weighs very close to 66 you know 0.6 <laughs> you know what I'm saying but I showed those videos of the two different scales uh, the one scale is possibly a little broke so therefore but it still doesn't matter the fucking thing wait what it did and i was like i was like oh you gotta be fucking kidding me you know so and then i just reweighed it with another one and um uh so the point being is that um there's that and uh there is the fact that uh, the very first time i met a friend of mine uh well i call them a friend now and I see the fucking, the vultures, you know, and it's like, wow, it's like they really playing shit out for a long, long fucking time, you know? Um, <laughs> they lie in the beginning, they write statements behind your back, and then they wait fucking 25, 30 fucking years, and then fucking spring the trap. Seriously. And 35 years later, do you think, like, you're even fucking ready or prepared? Most people are not. Most people are fucking more concerned about fucking making it through the month. Or the next month and a half. Like, maybe they can plan, like, a few months ahead. But not past that. Most people rely on the fucking good guys to know what the fuck they're doing, right? I don't fuck I don't even know what I don't know anymore because I'm just saying that I don't know what to say that makes yeah I knew that was a setup I knew that was a setup as much as I want to say it, it's a fucking and and the other shit's real too is the fact that that fucking thing was told that if I did a good job that that would end back up in my possession and it did there it is boom right there and yet freaking there's a bad story behind that not 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 the 300 or so or 200 or 50 million fucking dollars no no no, no. fuck that or whatever the fuck it was no no, no. i'm not to what 80 million in a fucking bag of rocks similar to that no no, no 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 or whatever the fuck they call that whole situation was what i'm talking about is A person that had that in their possession uh, was doing some bad shit to people. And uh, the exact same thing that I was, I'm kind of doing is the exact fucking same thing that they were doing. 
minus the fact that they were doing some really fucked up shit. And uh, because people thought that this was in my possession back then, one of the cops went and got me, brought me to the location of a woman who then he asked her, is this the person? Now, that person just so turns out that years, a couple years back, around about the time that I re-bump into Ray Vaughn, one of my friends that are now dead uh, from previous videos where I pretty much, you know, you can go fucking look, which you won't because you don't give a fuck. Most people don't give a fuck, you know? Uh, <clears throat> the point being is that I bumped back into this person and uh, ever since then, they are freaking awesome to me. I am freaking, I, you know, I just didn't remember that this is the person that I stood in front of that had to identify or not identify me as a fucking person that started some fucking shit with them. This is a setup. It sucks being the son of one of probably the awesomest people on planet Earth. And then on top of that, if that's not bad enough, it sucks being the son of God. I feel bad for the people that are held hostage in any parts of the world and at the same time um, it's like they made sure that I didn't have a friend to vouch for me that my enemies would be more friendly to me in the end. Because even some enemies have fucking turned around and given me heads up. Because they even thought that it was fucking overboard. Because that's jealousy, right? Like, crazy jealousy that's like jealous of my penis much wow you want to fuck me that bad huh wow And that's why I'm saying it's like, and then I see somebody I don't want to see a few days back. You know, people are really fucked up. They really are. They really, really, really fucking are. And there's good enough people that just don't understand enough and yet you wonder it's like even if they if they did understand enough would they care to make the right choices or not and 
I don't know what the fuck to say in some situation. Like, in other words, if, 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 when, well, I could go into some more heavy philosophy shit right now. Like, you know, just arguing with myself because guess what? Most people can't handle my conversations. And the rest of them don't want the truth out there. So anybody comes across these videos, I hope you understand, like, like there is so much complicated shit in life. And maybe not everybody's as lucky as I was as a kid to have people uh, that even cared as much as they did. And I do mean emphasis on as much in a world that's so fucked. I remember this video, but I don't remember this video. So I don't know if I was moving my hands the right way or not. My facial expressions. at the end of the video oh and my credit so I'm trying to check uh, for my bank account right at this point I said oh yeah huh. so I can't find my bank yeah oh well we don't know there's no credit history on you you're you're even though my credit score is a four and it's basically saying that i am deceased or i have no credit history ever in life i said oh really no credit history ever in life huh oh okay what about the fucking cars that i faulted on how did they get their money back oh Oh, they went to auction? Oh, is that how? So then explain the credit card. Hmm? Explain the credit card. Hmm? Where's the credit card? So I started calling banks and I started calling and asking the credit bureau again. Where is, with no bankruptcy attached to my name, where's the bills? Where's the bank account? Why am I being chaperoned? In a fucking, because if I fucking come to find out that this fucking whole thing is still going down, my statement is gonna fucking change. And I want those fucking names of those motherfuckers that had me sign that fucking order of, uh, pr pr uh, fucking, uh, what the fuck did they call that fucking dumbass fucking, uh, the witness protection form. So, um, yeah, where's all that? Oh, and as far as, you know, the squirrel bringing the human foot bone, where the sheriff turned around and said, you know, there's no record of the police pulling up, you know, taking the human foot bone off the front porch, even though there's a video of it, that there's no record of me calling.
or my house being shot at even though there's videos on the same fucking channel you're watching now so a monk's trying to look for a room for rent <laughs> wow I can't I'm, I'm trying to get my fucking after getting jumped I you know, my card's back, my fucking ID's back, this, that. But I got all that stuff back. But the thing is, well, I got most of it back, plus fucking some other shit. But, amongst all that, I'm trying to find my bank account, right? But fuck the bank account, I'm trying to pay my bills, son. So I'm making sure I'm letting all the state-run, government-run agencies very fully fucking aware at this point of every single fucking thing that I've said in this video. I am fucking pissed. There is a lot of intertwined, complicated shit, and I still, I still care about just about a lot. You care about people from both sides, from both sides and by both sides I mean multiple more sides than two um, I see the twisted shit going down uh, around about uh, that's uh, very close to where I'm at and I'm saying wow that's just stinking right now but I'm not gonna just as long as it doesn't come my way anymore I'm not even going to fucking open my mouth and then say how much danger anyone's in. Because uh, I'm a man of my word. You know? Unless it comes at me anymore. Anymore. You know what? I might not even because, you know what? That was, that was so fucking uncalled for. It was like, are you serious, dog? I don't know what else to say. I covered that. I covered the freaking credit thing. Um, yeah, there's there's nothing on there's nothing on my fucking on it, it's that's what I'm saying. It's like it's like the more they come back with replies, the more I keep coming up with extremely interesting things that fucking you know they're like that is kind of fucked up so even if it's what some of the answers that they gave me have made some sense and yet still now what am I supposed to do call every fucking bank which I'm, I'm doing actually I'm, I've already started at this point but now I don't have enough time to call every fucking bank. That ever existed over the past 25 fucking years. This is crazy. This is crazy.
just so I can pay a bill. Wow. 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 And like I said, even if fucking, even if the cars that I gave back went to fucking auction, right? What about the credit card? And why wasn't the car that I bought last on my credit report two years after fucking I faulted on that car? I went down to the dealership where they told me that I had triple A credit, that I had a lot of money. When I didn't even remember my bank account, when I didn't even fucking remember anything. And I started feeling the overwhelming presence of bullshit. So then I reached into my pocket and I pulled out the fucking grim diamond. I said, you want to see my fucking credit? Here's my credit. This is a fucking two to $15 million diamond. That's my credit. And then I seen the bullshit start to turn into a possible plan. And that's when I just said, have a nice day. And I walked the fuck out. I'm sick of this shit from Long Island. The decrepit turd of Long Island. Peace.